What's up everyone, Vu of Envu Films and I am back with another idiotic video for you to watch. And today's idiotic video, I'm taking my truck, my 2022 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X to the dealer for an oil change at 5,000 miles. Yes, it's already been 5,000 miles. And why am I talking about my truck? On my videography channel, my videography based YouTube channel. Well, how the hell do I get to my clients? How do I get to my shoots? Uh, where do I put my gear? I put it in my truck. So that is why I am talking about my truck on this channel right here. So with that being said, it is two degrees out here and my penis went from two inches to one inches. I'm gonna go into the car, I'm gonna drive to the dealer. And we'll get to get this oil change done. And at the same time, I'll try to talk about my experience, updates, uh, and how I feel about the Nissan Frontier, the 2022 Nissan Frontier as a truck, a daily driver, whatever. Let's get to it. So guys, probably wondering, yo, Vu, you own a freaking truck and you're gonna take it to somebody else to do your oil change for you? You are a piece of trash. And hey, yes, I am a piece of trash. And not because I'm taking this car to the dealership to do my oil change. I'm taking this car to the dealership to do my oil change because my time is more valuable doing something else. So while my car is there, I'm gonna get my computer out and I'm gonna edit some videos, okay? My job is a videographer. I get paid a lot of money, provide for my family, pay for this truck, being a videographer editor. So while somebody else does this old change for me, I am doing other work that makes me way more money than pretty much what I would save or whatever if I spent the time and did the old change by myself. I mean, after you spend the money, spend the time, getting all of like the oil, uh, and you know, like I mentioned, it's like two degrees outside, spending two hours outside, they check your tire pressure, they fill up all your fluids, they do this, that, and the other. Uh, yeah, what am I gonna save, like 30 bucks? So yeah, it's not worth my time to do this by myself. Anyway, yeah, so the truck has been great. I absolutely love it still, 5,000 miles, not quite there, like 49 something, but fantastic truck. Uh, I really have no complaints about it, you know? because I am a realistic person, okay? And I think everyone else should be too. Like, not any, doesn't matter what you buy in life, it's not gonna be like 100% perfect. Such as, let's say your camera. Every camera uh, that you buy in this professional setting, in my case, Sony A7S III, whatever, there's some quirks here and there, you know? Like things happen. Uh, uh, for example, sometimes you turn off the camera a certain way and it will tell you, give you an error on like saving your file or something. And hey, look, the file's still there, but it's still quirk. You know, you'd like it not to happen. Um, same thing with this, with with the truck, right? Sometimes I plug in the uh, Android Auto, and for some reason it doesn't read it. But 99.99% of the time, it reads it fine. Um, what what is another quirk? Uh, I guess like the front collision sensor. I guess there's like a sensor in the front of the truck that uh, detects if you're getting too close or what have you to whatever vehicle or whatever it is in front of you and I guess it'll beep or something I don't know if it break it hits the brakes for you or whatever but occasionally it will be disabled or it will start bl the light will start blinking um, and you know I see a lot of guys on the Facebook forums complain about this stuff uh, oh you know something's wrong with my truck or something but it's really not because I know when usually when it's gonna start blinking or this one time it got disabled it got disabled one time when it was in the snow and it was I got like a bunch of salt and snow and ice all over the front of the car or the truck and the uh, front uh, collision sensor uh, is disabled. And of course, lo and behold, once it cleaned off, it was fine. And all the time, all the times when the uh, sensor blinks is when it's like super foggy outside. Right now, super sunny, no issues. But when it's foggy, when there's like some haze, it starts blinking because clearly there's something going on that's blocking the sensor. This is completely normal, in my opinion. Um, and a lot, you know, a lot of dudes just you know go into the shit storm uh, that you know Nissan is trash or something because their sensors. If you're thinking about it, it's kind of doing its job. That's the only thing you know. So yeah, that's the only thing that I really have complaints about um, this truck. Uh, other than that, like it's probably the best. Unfortunately, I'm going to say this out loud. 45-ish thousand I've ever Use spent. Use the right lane to take the I-70 West ramp, then merge on the I-70 West. For a vehicle. 
and I've never spent that much on a vehicle ever. And I've owned Lexuses, I have owned Subarus, what have you, all under 35 grand. Granted, a lot of it was like used and stuff, but still, even a Range Rover that my wife drives, that is a $30,000 vehicle used. So, yeah, this this thing is pretty pretty pricey. But um, heading over to the Nissan dealership uh, to get this 5,000 mile maintenance. I probably could have waited to 7,500 miles per the manual. You know, you have a choice depending on how you drive, but I figure this is my first time around. Um, this, you know, new truck, 5,000 miles, I might as well take it in early. But uh, yeah, we'll let you know what the experience is like. I'll let you know how much they charge, and I'll also let you know if I'll go back again to the dealer to do a little change, or next time I'll just go to freaking like Jiffy Loop or some bullshit like that. Anyways, stay tuned. Yeah, so I'm still here at the dealer. They just wrapped it up. They just finished everything up. Everything checked out fine. Did the oil change. They did the fluid. They did check the tires. I think they rotated the tires. Everything is spick and span. It says new truck, so no issues. Everything ended up costing about like 150 some bucks. Took about an hour and a half. Maybe a little more than that. Almost two hours, but it is what it is. Got some work done. Um, yeah. Just a quick update on the truck. Um, absolutely no issues, um, you know, screen, whatever, everything in good shape. Um, yeah, again, other than that, I hope that's a good update for you. You know, if you guys are looking into buying a 2022 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X or any Nissan Frontier, the new 2020 new models, I don't think, you know, there should be many concern. I think, you know, there's some guys out there, you know, here and there that have issues. So when you go on like Facebook, you see a lot. People who go on Facebook to post about their truck only post about the issues they find. And, you know, you're talking about thousands and thousands of people who buy trucks, the truck. And then there's like that, like 20 guys that go onto Facebook and post about the problems. And you think that this truck has problems. But the reality is I'm 5,000 miles. Got everything changed. I've had no issues with the truck. So if you have any reservations on whether or not you know the frontier is a reliable truck the 2022 frontier is specifically is a reliable truck i think absolutely so i drive it every highway i drive it city i drive it you know whatever so it is what it is you know i'll keep you guys updated maybe you know do another one at 10,000 miles who knows so uh yeah until next time guys lighten up